Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's uh, week has started off well. Uh, mine had a kind of an ominous start. Um, I was uh, reading in the Word over the weekend, and uh, I moved from chapter one of Acts into the second chapter of the book of Acts, and uh, I was struck like by a thunderbolt when I read the passage where it talks about uh, in the last days um, your young men will have visions and your old men will dream dreams and whether they be a manservant or a maidservant my servants will prophesy and uh, they haven't been brought up in the watchtower for so long we were always admonished to just ignore any dreams that we had they, were of nothing, of no consequence. And uh, there were several dreams that I've had in my lifetime that I remember to this day that seemed rather poignant and uh, and kind of awesome and uh, eye-opening. But with that mindset of a JW, I just kind of pushed it to the back burner, so to speak. But. Uh, it, it hit me and I felt like I had to read it again, so I reread the entire chapter, the, the entire second chapter of the book of Acts to make sure I was reading it in context. And um, this morning I, I slept in, which is usually very uh, uncharacteristic of me. I'm usually up by 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. It doesn't matter what time I go to bed, I'm usually up by 4.30 or 5. And uh, I slept until 10. And uh, what woke me up was the just the end of the dream. You know, it was just kind of a startling revelation to me. And I just kind of sat up in bed. And it was already 10 o'clock in the morning. I feel like a heathen, you know, just sleeping in all day. But uh, I kind of felt like I might have been able to sleep till noon, you know. But uh, the dream that I had... And it was it was very weird because uh, it was me puttering around the house doing stuff, uh, which I normally can't do because uh, I'm an amputee. I lost my left leg below the knee, and uh, so I can't really putter around unless I take the time to put my prosthesis on, and uh, or which happen, happens sometimes, it's kind of problematic at times, uh, uh, edema, swelling of the leg, I can't get the prosthesis on it, so I spend some time in a wheelchair also. So the dream was of me, but actually walking around normally, doing stuff around the house. And uh, all of a sudden there was a knock at the door, and it was actually my, uh, my mom. Uh, called me to the door and said that uh, my study was here. And so I went and I met the guy and I told him to come in and sit down and he was carrying a book in his hand that said, what does the Bible really teach? But it wasn't the Watchtower publication. It was just like the book. It just had that written across the entire cover of it as what does the Bible really teach? It was more of a message, I think, more than the title of a book. And uh, he said that he was uh, there, that we need. To, uh, we had talked about learning what the Bible really teaches. And uh, so I reached for my Bible, and I remember in my mind thinking, I'm going to use my NASB, my New American Standard, and it's... Uh, it's got two translations in it. On one half of the page, it's the New American Standard. And on the other side, it's the Amplified translation. And so it's like a two-in-one. And I was looking around and looking around. I couldn't find it. All I was finding was New World Translation Bibles everywhere. And I'm just flipping them over my shoulder. I'm like, what do we have this crap here for? This thing, it doesn't teach what the Bible really has to say. And so I went over to, to him and I said, I'm sorry, I can't find my Bible anywhere. And uh, and I said, did you bring one? And he said, all I have is a stupid New World Translation. And it was 
this the what they call the silver sword the new 2013 edition and he just said all I have is this thing and he flung it in my trash can and I said well I'm, I'm gonna find my NASB hang on a second and he goes he was telling me in Spanish he was saying no te acuerdas no más hablo español which means um, don't you remember I only speak Spanish and I'm like oh. So I'm looking for a Spanish Bible and Spanish New World translations all over the place. And finally, I ran across my mom's Bible, a very old Bible. It's got a leather, it's leather bound, but it's got a zipper where you can close it off around around the Bible, you know. And it's very old, and it's a Reina Valera translation, and it's Spanish. And so I said, ah, finally a real Bible, you know. And so uh, we sat down and we just prayed and we started to uh, converse in Spanish and read from the Word in Spanish. And I woke up kind of perplexed and, uh, and I was trying to figure out well, what was that all about, you know. And so I was sitting around, I was praying, I was trying to figure out, you know, what could be the possible meaning of this. And um, all of a sudden my telephone rings and it's my buddy Jerry and we started talking about this and that and uh, and then he said you know he goes I have this idea he said um, I was watching your videos that you just made yesterday and uh, you brought up some good points you've got some really good experiences that you can share to open people's eyes about the watchtower but he goes you're also fluent in Spanish maybe uh, maybe it would be a good idea if you could uh, as you produce one video make it in English and then make one in Spanish and then maybe he said I'll give you permission to use any of my videos if you want to translate them into Spanish and he gave me the idea put an earpiece in listen to my video and translate it and make your own video and I'm like well that's awesome right? because I know uh, Mike and Kim's daughter Shyla she does that except she does it with sign language and he goes well, he goes, you can reach a lot of people. He goes, there's a lot of Spanish JWs that are looking for a way out, but really don't, may not have access to the information since most of the Watchtower's um, legal documentation is in English. He said, maybe you could get a hold of some of these videos that are being put out talking about doctrinal changes and things like that, you know, and translate them into Spanish, and that way you can feed hungry. Uh, soon to be XJWs, and so I was like, you know what? I just had this dream, and I related the dream to him. And he said, "Well, I can tell you what that's all about." He goes, "It's about you taking your your work and moving in that direction." And so that kind of gave me a little confirmation on on that because I mean, for me to have been reading in Acts about old men dreaming dreams and I am an old man I'm in my 50s already uh, and all of a sudden to have such a a compelling dream uh, involving the Bible involving Bible truth and the search for Bible truth and then trying to share it with only a guy who only speaks Spanish you know, and then for Jerry to just call out of the blue and bring that up, I mean, I think that's kind of a kind of a compelling piece of evidence that maybe that's the direction that I should take. And so I'm, I'm going to consider it prayerfully and see if uh, if the Lord wants me to move in that direction to try and open the eyes of Hispanic, uh, Spanish-speaking JWs who are trying to find their way out. Well, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. I'm, I'm going to wish you all a good week. I speak the Lord's shalom over each of your lives. I wish you peace and love in Jesus' holy name. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Take care.